that it, anything is possible. And after that I wrote, and the knowing it is not only possible, but inevitable. And one of the questions you asked me earlier is this, getting into the hot seat. And expectation, yes, but it's the knowing yeah. of it being a sure thing. Right. So replace it's... The, is, replace the word probability or possibility with certainty. With certainty. And so really the balance we're trying, at least from my perspective, the balance we're trying to strike is moving between the knowing that it's possible to knowing that it's inevitable. And so I'm hoping that you can kind of move or, us... Or, or that it is, that it exists as a vibrational creation, a vibrational reality, and therefore it isn't absent, it is present. And in the knowledge of its presence, you achieve a grid that allows the momentum to reveal itself to you in more specific ways. So it's the grid of the sure Ooh, thing. That was so good. Say it again. <laughs> when you accept the isness of the vibrational reality, and therefore you feel no ripple within you about the absence of the manifested reality, in your knowledge of its doneness, of its isness, in your, in your knowing that it is done. There's an absence of resistance that allows the momentum then to reveal itself to you in all of those delicious ways. And, the, and non-physical knows that all the time. Non-physical is standing there with the isness of what you've been asking for, reveling in it, appreciating the creation of it, acknowledging your relationship with the creation of it, watching for every opportunity to give you a glimpse of your creation and to revel with you in what you have accomplished. So our ability to get to that reverie and revelry is the point through which our, the point that our grid fills in with what we're looking for, and correct? How, that's exactly right, and, but how do you get there? What, what, is, what do you, what is your focus? How do, you, how, do you, how do you get out of the way? Because you just right. said it's inevitable. We just said it's certain. So, so what's the hold up? If it's certain, if it's inevitable, then, then what is the timing of it about? The perfection of the universe filling the grid in. Well, the universe will fill the grid in, but this is your grid. What part do you play in it? What are you going to do to allow your grid to be filled in now? Feel the way source feels about it. Yeah. And... And what, do you, what are you going to do in order to feel the way source feels about it? What, what are the obvious things that you've got to stop doing? Right. Notice, got noticing that it isn't done. Right. So it's like we're saying to you, if you could not care about the manifestation, then the manifestation would happen. But your concern about the manifestation and your awareness that the manifestation hasn't happened yet causes you to offer a vibration of the absence of what you want that prevents it from flowing. Right. So what are you going to do about that? Get happy. Yeah. Go general. You're going to go general. You're going to get off the specifics and therefore off the specific absence and into the presence of something that already exists. And the presence of what already exists is satisfaction about a lot of things, appreciation for a lot of things, knowledge about the laws of the universe. There's so much that you know that when you focus upon it with... with deliberate intent that when you focus upon it then you activate a vibration that allows it to fill in one of our favorite experiences in a, an audience setting like this there was a is a, a young woman who came frequently and often because of the intensity of her desire and her expectation ended up in the hot seat and the majority of the time that she talked to us, she wanted to have a baby, 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 wanted to have a baby. And when she would be called forward, people who had been there before knew what she was going to talk about <laughs> because that's what she wanted. And finally, as some time passed, she announced to everyone, I'm four months pregnant. And it was startling for most who were watching to see how different she seemed. Now, 
She still doesn't have this baby to take to the park like she is looking forward to. She's not feeding the baby or teaching the baby or talking to the baby in the way that she one day will. But in her pregnancy, not yet manifested in the way she wants it, there was no longer absence of baby. Right. So if we could just help you to know that your vortex is pregnant. <laughs> there is no absence of anything that you want, but there is a gestation period that you want to occur. And that gestation period is about your readiness. It's about the preparation. It's about the physical preparation for, in other words, you, she didn't want the consciousness of that child to come forth before the fetus was ready to explore and experience. And in, in a similar way, so many of the things that people are asking for, they're not, they have not yet prepared the environment for the very thing that they're asking for. And you do that by no longer doing that thing you do that slows it down and keeps you from doing it. Right. That was a bit of a long way around that, but pretty satisfying to us. Me too. Clear enough? Very clear. Thank you very yes, much. Indeed. Thank you very yes. much.